What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about elevators in Revit. Now elevators are a very important part of any building and Revit offers us some tools on how to uh, implement elevators and uh, to help us basically to place elevators in our projects. But anyway, before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media as well, I post there also. Now, let's get started. So here I am in Revit, but if I move Revit out of the way, as you can see over here on my desktop, I've got one elevator family. Now, usually you can find on uh, one of those websites where you can find uh, Revit uh, families, you can find elevator families from different manufacturers. And if you want to find out about websites that uh, where you can find that, check out uh, the link in the description. Uh, I've already done a video where I show you uh, where you can find something, uh, some families like that but let's implement this elevator. So I'm just going to start uh, with the architectural template for this project and before I load in the family I need to set up a basic building. So to do that uh, let's just go here into floors and uh, let's just create one rectangle like this. So this is just a basic floor. And, and I'm just going to go to the south elevation and add some more levels. So I'm just going to go here to the level tool or you can use the shortcut LL, I prefer using shortcuts. And let's use the pick lines tool and for the offset I'm just going to type in uh, 4000 millimeters which is like 4 meters, which is like what, 12 feet? I'm not very good with that. But anyway, so let's select this, uh, this here. Uh, uh, this here floor and uh, I actually I don't think I need level 5, I think it's it's enough to have four levels. So let's select this, uh, go to copy, uh, paste, and then uh, select here, align to selected levels. And if you choose these uh, three levels, as you can see now it copied uh, the, the floor uh, to these uh, levels. So if we go into 3D, we've got uh, four levels, like four floors, which is basically the same situation you would have in any building that requires an elevator. So now let's load in our elevator. So let's move this out to the way and I'm just going to drag it over like this. And here it is. Now I'm just going to hit escape for a second and let's go into level one and place it somewhere. Uh, so uh, ele elevator comes in as a component. So if you just go to place component, here it is. And you can place it, I don't know, let's just place it in the center like that. And if we go into 3D, uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, so this uh, particular family that they downloaded is already set to a 4 meter uh, high ceiling. So that's why it works uh, here with this, this setup. But of course you can uh, go into edit family and you can change this if if you choose to have different, uh, different uh, floor heights or uh, a lot of manufacturing families uh, for elevators uh, come with like parametric families where you can actually adjust the number of uh, or a number of floors as well as uh, the height of all floors. But anyway, so once we have this, uh, as you can see, it doesn't really work because it's going straight through the floor and uh, it doesn't have any walls surrounding it. So let's go into level one and let's fix that up. So this uh, I think is a glass elevator, but I'm just going to be using it as a regular elevator. So let's add some walls to house this elevator. So just go to wall or again, I prefer using shortcuts. W A is the shortcut for wall. And let's go from center of this here like that and do the same thing on the other side like that. And uh, let's do a wall for the well for the whole elevator shaft. Now, once we have this wall in place, maybe we can adjust it just a little bit, make it symmetrical. Yeah, that works. Okay, so once we have these walls in place, uh, let's select all of them. So just call the control, select all walls, and make sure you change the top constraint from unconnected to level four. Hit apply, go into 3D. So basically here we have some wall uh, with uh, our elevator doors. Uh, but still we have a problem because these, uh, these floors are basically whole floors and our elevator should go through them. So we need to create a hole in the floor. Uh, so there is a bunch of ways you, you can do these, uh, do this. So uh, one way is to go into edit boundary and then edit each floor. But the problem with that is if you do something like that and then decide to 
later uh, change uh, the placement of the elevator you would have to go in back in edit boundary select this and move it to the new placement of the elevator so that's uh, quite a, a bad way to approach this so let me just delete that hole and hit finish and uh, the the right way to do this is to use an elevator shaft or a shaft so once you're on your architecture tab uh, over here for opening you've got a bunch of them and uh, the shaft is the one you want to use for elevators now you might be tempted to use the vertical opening but this is more for creating as you can see over here an opening in a roof or basically any opening that uh, that's just through one a roof or floor and where the shaft will go through all uh, of your uh, all of your floors so just go to shaft and now you can uh, draw it you just basically draw a boundary so let's just go around here like that yeah, I think this is the right, right boundary for that okay hit finish and once you have this maybe you can go into 3d or something uh, let's see uh, find this over here find the hole and uh, when you hover over the the opening you select it and you've got this uh, shape that you can change and you can actually change the height so if we go like this as you can see now it's uh, poking a hole through all of the floors so we've got a hole that's going through the whole building and if at any point we decide to select everything like this uh, going to level one and decide to maybe move it around that hole or that opening will be moving with our elevator shaft as you can see over here or with our elevator but anyway that's how you create elevators in revit i hope this was helpful thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day